Here are some of my favorite French decor stencils. For this first project, I use a vintage French chocolate stencil, and this stencil just has the most delicate details on it that I kept the design simple and then did some white stenciling, and I think it was the chef's kiss. It came out perfect. Next up, I used our French Avenue patisserie stencil, and I made this one a pastel pink. Uh, I just thought this would look so great in a bakery or a kitchen and that pastel pink just reminded me of baked goods and cupcakes so I thought it was super fitting and I also went in with my scroll saw and made the top of the wood sign match the shape of the design. This next project was super fun. I used our Apothecary Vintage French Perfume and Pharmacy Signage stencil, turned an old suitcase into a little suitcase table. I just slapped that stencil right on top, put on some legs, which was a little tricky, but I just ordered them from Amazon and then attached them. And I think it came out so unique and cute. Now, I love the shape of this next one. I used our Parisian Corset stencil and I actually use some old stairs that I had and so they're pretty beaten up so I just cut them to shape and I just thought it was such a beautiful piece. Stenciling on fabric is really quick and easy just make sure to use the right paint and then I just used our carpe diem stencil placed it on the pillow and it was good to go. I used our French script numbers to create this piece and I'm actually creating DIY clocks and I kind of split it in half and I wanted one side to be wood one side to be white and I just seriously love how this turned out. Also, I ordered the clock set from Amazon and it was a little tricky to put in, but it does work, but it's just a little thing you gotta work with. Our Mon Petit Jardin butterfly stencil, which translates to my little garden. I just think it would be such a cute little garden sign for outside once it starts becoming springtime again. For this project, I went in with a wash of watercolor before my stenciling just to create some depth. I really like the look of that. And then I went in with our Parfume de Papillon stencil and I just went in with that in some different shades of blue and I love how it turned out. Lastly, I created this little watercolor DIY chest. I went in with our Sweet Dream stencil and I just think this would be so great in a kid's room, a nursery, or anything like that. And I just really loved the outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed all these French projects. If you want to see any more of our projects, you can follow us on Instagram at Pretty, or if you want to order some stencils for yourself, you can go to stencilmepretty.com and we can help you out with all of your DIY projects.